Hello everyone and welcome back to Rise of the Tomb Raider. Uh, last time we completed a pretty tough combat section. Um, we rescued Jonah and got him to uh, Jacob and he's going to take, help take care of him. And we learned that the divine source is anything but divine according to Jacob. Yes, it gave him his long life, but apparently there was some sort of cost associated with it that he didn't really go into details. But we do have one skill point, and we are going after um, Trinity in order to stop them from getting what they're after. We've gotten basically everything that we can in the Survivor and Hunters. Um, we can get these, which basically gives you finishers for using those weapons. We don't need them. We also don't need um, more ammunition off of bodies. This one is probably our next best thing. Health kill enemies without alerting nearby foes. Now, I assume that means the stealth kills of, like, grabbing them out of the water or from out from a bush or whatever. Something like that. Um, let's check our weapons. Do kind of upgrades we got there. Upgrade available for the pistol. Okay. Just damage. Okay, interesting. Nothing here. We just need, we would need three of the rare ore that I've yet to find anywhere, to be honest. We got the ability to take it out of the rocks, but I haven't found any. Um, we need some more nuts and bolts. Shotgun upgrades. We can just do damage on that. That'll be fine. And now we don't have enough for anything else. Which, I mean, to be fair, we did use up a bunch of resources on that. We've been using the shotgun a lot, so I figured, why not? Um, where are we trying to go now? Well, first things first. Oh, whoops. Ow! Dumbass. Staying way too close to the explosion. The hilt of an ancient dagger. Blades gone, but it's a femur of some sort. Almost certainly human. Perhaps it's some sort of ritual object. Maybe. Let's sit back down at the campfire and heal up. Assuming that heals us up. I don't know if it does or not. I think it would. Yeah. Alright. Up there is our goal. Um, before we do that, is there anything extremely close by that I want? What is this? Not that. The thing next to it. Okay. Coin cash, survival cash. So yeah, nothing really important close by. No documents or anything that would be of use. Um, I still don't know exactly what caused the um, frame rate issue from the last episode, but it does seem to have resolved itself when I started a new recording, so we're going to stick with that. Now, I don't know why it says our objective is up there, because I remember Jacob opening this portal here in the stairs for us to go through whenever we were here before. So we're going to go through here. See what we can find. Orrery. <laughs> the orrery? I don't know how to say that. But it does certainly look like the orrery. Alright. Not a spot for me to put this one. What I'm gonna do... Pull this one a little closer. There. That should allow us to get... Wait a minute. I saw that. 
I saw it. Doesn't really look like it was much, much worth to go get it, but I did see it. Three mushrooms, three more mushrooms. We can make some, um, some uh, poison things if we need to. Alright, so there was really no need for that second set, except getting the, what, map, maybe? Yeah, map, okay. There's one survival cache in here, and that's it. Well, I, it probably showed that one too, but we already got it, because we had a sharp eye. So I'll go ahead and mark it, since it is on our way, but... Ow. The more important thing is getting through this area without falling off. New base camp discovered. I don't see a campfire. Oh, there it is. We will go ahead and do this. Uh, actually, let me grab this ore first. Hey, we got a special ore. Is there more of it? There is. So, so, okay, I was thinking that there would be like a different type of ore vein that would uh, allow us to pull out that the uh, the rare one, but it's just a random drop from the same ore veins from before. That's a really strange word, is ore vein. Oh, that's the wrong direction. Anything underwater? Not that I can see. This is where we can dig up our survival cache. Boar, uh, boar skin and regular uh, animal hide. I don't think it's going to be all that important, but I do want to grab up all the special uh, metal type that I can. Ooh. Amazing. That's a big hole that I'm at the bottom of. Jacob, I'm heading in. What will I find down here? My people haven't been down there since we sealed it off centuries ago. But it should be safe, at least until you make it past the orrery. I did say Was it right. Orrery. It was built by my astronomers before the deathless buried the old city. You'll need to use it to open the entrance to Katesh. In here. This is the entrance to Katesh, and I need to use the thing that he was talking about to get through, don't I? Whoa! Don't fall off now. Okay, that's my way back up. Would you please just fall off? Path of the Desus. This is extraordinary. Whoa! She just walked off of that. Okay. Let's see how this thing works. Looks like I can pull that into place. Okay, now what? This one? Why can't I aim my bow?
But apparently I need to do that before I jump up there. So that spins this around. into the right position. How far does this one pull? Because that's a big wire pull there. That looks accurate. I'd run and jump off of there. I think I need to spin this one all the way around. Like this. Then I can use the wire jump to get over there. Pull this one one more time. There we go. Then I can use that plank to jump up there, jump off of the, the board. Got it. Oh, I missed! <laughs> uh, she didn't lock onto it automatically. Whoops. I done goofed. I done goofed. That's alright. We, uh... We figured out the, the trick to this, so it won't take very much to get back. I do want to just grab this, though. Jacob, I'm heading in. What will I find down here? My people haven't been down there since we sealed it off centuries ago. But it should be safe, at least until you make it past the orrery. Was it part of the observatory? It was built by my astronomers. Yes, I understand. I gotta go through there. The old city. You'll need to use it to open the entrance to Katesh. Pull this one twice. Now we pulled this one twice. That should be it. If I don't fall off again. Nope, that's not it. For some reason this one didn't pull all the way around. Good now? Yeah, we're good now. There's the sound that tells you that we're good. Alright. Land at that time. That I'm not particularly in need of. What was that?
That's cool as shit. What? As far as it goes. There's another lock on the other side. Oh, it's locked in. Okay, gotcha. I thought those were bridges to get across to it. Anything over here? Nope. Release! Jacob's people were ahead of their time. Watch your step, Lara. Oh boy. This is gonna be fun. Well, I made it. Just got to make it to the top now. Got to time it just right. What am I swinging to? Oh, I get it. Okay. Jump up there, and then we climb and jump around and do whatever we need to to get up top. Oh! See, this is the, this is something that's going to give me some trouble because of the way that this game saves. Only at those um, campsites, I'm going to have to do all of this stuff over and over until I time it right and don't fall on my head. Yep, that's annoying. I don't care about that survival cache. It was nothing important. I also don't care about that metal anymore. Let's just do this. Amazing. Jacob, I'm heading in. What will I find down here? My people haven't been down there since we sealed it off centuries ago. I'm jumping it because it's safe, actually slightly at least faster. Until you make it past the orrery. Was it part of the observatory? It was built by my astronomers before the Deathless buried the old city. You'll need to use it to open the entrance to Katesh. This is extraordinary. That word, extraordinary. Does that not simply mean works. more ordinary than everything else? So it doesn't look like I can pull that one from here. That one on the, the far the far end. Jump up onto the thing. Thank you. Alright, let's hopefully let's hope we don't mess this up again. That would be that would be the, for the best. For us to not screw this up. This part's pretty easy. It's the spinning bit that uh, is going to get me. I'm not real concerned about the coins, but they are right there and it takes basically no time to get them, so why not?
It's not out far enough. Jacob's people were ahead of their time. Watch your step, Lara. Okay. This part's easy. This part is going to throw me for a loop. Whoa. I thought that was going to hit me. No! I thought I had it. I was a little early. Ugh. Dang it, man. Third time's a charm, right? Third time is a charm. At least I hope. I might... I, I don't edit my videos, as you guys know. But in a situation like this, I might have to. I'll edit in all the deaths that it took me, and then, like, the final run that I get up there. Assuming... I don't get it in the next Amazing. little bit. Jacob, I'm heading in. What will I find down here? My people haven't been down there since we sealed it off centuries ago. But it should be safe, at least until you make it past the orrery. Was it part of the observatory? It was built by my astronomers before the Deathless buried the old city. Oh yeah, that's you another thing that we found out last time that I kind of glossed over. Um, Jacob is the prophet. The one that built Katesh and all that? Yeah, that is Jacob. This is extraordinary. We can pull it this way. Looks like. Let's see how this thing works. Yeah. No? Yes, we can. Oop, I missed. I was concerned about pulling those ones, I forgot this one. See, she kind of like auto grabbed on that onto that one a little bit. Why couldn't she? Why can't she do that on the ones that are spinning? The actual difficult jumps. Gotcha. Yeah, hopefully third time's a charm. If not, then I'll probably edit. Have to edit the uh, stuff in, and I don't want to do that. I don't like editing. I'm no good at it. Grab the thing, push the thing. Jump. Wire. Didn't even grab the coins. Don't care. At this point, unless we choose to, we're not going back to that area anyway. And let's be honest, I think I have enough stuff, like, equipment-wise. Oh, step, Lara. Right. There's my board, there's my board. That one kind of looked funny for a second. I wasn't sure I was going to get it. Did that little wobble thing and it threw me off.
Come on, Lara. Don't screw this up, please. Nice! Patience, Lara. Now! Okay. Good. Next, can we climb on those? Yes, just we can. Just got to make it to the top now. Got to time it just right. We fell all the way down, but we didn't die, so... Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. I don't know why we didn't grab hold there. Gotcha. Okay. Wait for it. Got it. Got it. It's kind of like once you get... It's one of those things that like once you do it once, you understand it and you're good to go. Okay. I made it. And I was scared. <laughs> scared I wasn't going to make that. What kind of secrets do we get? <sighs> Lucky for me, that means no editing. Woohoo! The Codex. This one speaks of the advanced archery skills developed in Byzantium. Classically trained. What's that mean? Increase the number of arrows that can be rapidly shot without redrawing. Oh, okay. Oops. Wrong button. So now, instead of this, I can do this. Oh, hold on. Why won't you do the thing? Like that. There. I can do the quick in-succession in things. Alright, so grab that. Grab these. Waste a bunch of arrows trying to show off. That one I don't really need. Why won't you shoot into the wall there? Wants me to jump over here. Got it. I like that it highlights these. Am I dead? Okay. That scared the crap out of me. I thought I would be dead. It's no longer such a big deal because now I know what's beneath me. Elf. The old city is close. Yes, and I have a campfire. Lara. We're on the mountain above the glacier. Can you see Trinity? Yes. They're beginning their operation. I'm entering the old city now. Listen, Sophia. Don't attack them too soon. We'll give it some time. I'll contact you again soon. 
Alright, what do you have to say, document? Is that just... It looks like a document, not a map, but it, it won't pick up. There, we got it. Okay. I thought I had died. The cold gnawed at me, and I grew weak, even as I saw the Prophet's people camped on the ridge of a strange green valley. One foot after the other, sword in hand, I trudged on. I meant to charge, battle cry on my chapped lips, when consciousness fled and I collapsed into the arms of heretics. They know who I am. They have been expecting Trinity. They do not have much, but they fed me, kept me warm until I could walk again. The prophet told me I could leave whenever I desire, but they have taken my blades, <laughs> even armed. I do not know that I could kill this man. I have failed the order. I have failed myself, but I live. Yeah. It seems to happen a lot around this guy. Okay, so there is a map here that gives me document locations. And honestly, that seems to have been the only one. Why even put a map here? Unless it does more than just this one area, but I don't think I don't believe that to be the case. Yeah. Still no campsite though. I need a campsite so I don't have to do all the climbing again. Be nice, game. Does not look like the game's gonna be nice. You hear that? I hear that. I have no idea what they're saying. I expected that. I saw the cracks in the ice. Oh no! Is it a glitch that she doesn't have her axe? Like a visual glitch, but I guess it doesn't matter. She didn't need it anyway. Okay, well, we made it, and we're definitely not going back that way. Campsite? Still no campsite. Alright, there's another crack in this ice. Oh, it lets me climb on it. As much as I want to watch that, I think I need to move just in case the ice breaks. I see a campfire. Oh, baby. My life for a campfire. Well. I'm going to let this one go on a little longer because I want to see what's next, <laughs> to be honest. So, we have a save. So if what's next kills me, it's not a big deal. But this seems to be pretty, like a pretty epic thing going on, and I don't want to break it up. They're gonna see me. They're gonna see me for sure. 
or this is the most, or rather, the least cautious army ever. So many of them. Indeed. So many of them, they're making my frames drop to like 20. Oh no! Crunch. Once I get out of here, it'll probably be fine. Oh well, another campsite. I am gonna end it on this one though. I feel as though combat might be coming next, so I want to try to start that off fresh on a uh, new episode. But either anyway, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. It lets me know that you guys do enjoy the content, and I appreciate you for doing so. Comment down below. Let me know what type of stuff you want to see in the future. And for more videos, hit that subscribe button as well. My name is Beards McGinnis, and I will see you next time.